and we're live. Welcome to the 38th sprint review call for the common stack. Uh, we have so much to go into, so I'm just going to see if I can figure out how to share my screen and start the show. <laughs> oh, that's Sampo, but we'll talk about that in a second. First, we start off with the budget. Uh, this is uh, this. We had an incredible month for the Common Stack. Honestly, uh, one of the best that we've had in a long time for our holdings. Uh, we inc we earned uh, a two major endowments. One from the Region Network that's finally in our control and earning interest. Uh, we only got it halfway through the month, and we already made about five thousand dollars in interest. And e even though Region tokens have lost half their value, so that's pretty amazing. Uh, and uh, and we also got a huge endowment from Giveth, about sixty thousand dollars. That is also earning interest at an, an incredible rate. Both of them will give us about one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year uh, at, at the current rate, and that's incredibly welcome uh, for our budget right now. Uh, the community, uh, the Common Stack community, is holding about ninety four thousand uh, dollars, which will keep us around until oh, where is that uh the, that will keep us going for a while i think i think we're good for the next uh four months so that's great and uh the association finally thanks to all of your renewals have finally actually has finally enough money to start paying the trusted seed so the cs association soon to be called the trusted seed uh, Oh, come on, you can load friend. There it is, uh, has had $18,000 on the first of the month inside of it and started paying out. Uh, so Yanesi and Maria and Max and Ivy are finally back under the trusted seed and, and being paid by uh, your renewals. So thank you so much for supporting uh, our efforts. And uh, yeah, and here's the, here's the region partnership uh what it looks like on kepler it's pretty interesting the uh we have earned now in just the last six days we've already earned another uh so we i staked three thousand regen already because that earns interest but it's locked for 21 days and so then i, I try to keep a, a balance uh in our wallet that we can liquidate if we find a good reason to use it uh so we have uh earned eleven thousand regen already which is just Amazing. I think we earned 2000 region in the last uh, week. And the other in other news, we are starting to have weekly board meetings to get ready for the, the General Assembly on the 17th. Hope you can show up uh, the, this board meeting, uh, the board meeting we had last week. Uh, let's see, was it? I guess we had two board meetings during this sprint, actually. Uh, the first one. Is that right? No, no, no. I talked about this the one last 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 review call. So yeah, we only had one during this sprint, uh, but we have one next week as well. And uh, we talked mostly about qualifying DAOs, like the trusted seed as an as a legal entity offers legal uh, financial legal support for uh, people who uh, in blockchain for good DAOs that have issues, but only qualifying DAOs. So we discussed what it takes to become a qualifying DAO and some of the and some of the details around this uh, this this legal offering. Uh, and then we also just went through the checklist to get ready for the General Assembly. And uh, and now we have some POAP votes and all sorts of interesting things that I'm sure you'll see in an email soon. Uh, other other In other news, we also launched the new Trusted Seed DAO. Uh, and there's an article coming up that someone else will talk about. And uh, the, our first vote as a, as a team is to burn Mitch's token, because Mitch, uh, Mitch actually set this all up for us. Praise Mitch. Uh, and and so we're just one vote away from passing our first vote in the new trusted seed board association like DAO. Uh, and in the TEC, there's a new working group forming. It's called Sampo. Uh, Sampo is this magical machine from Finnish mythology that actually creates gold and grain and salt, uh, everything that a human could need. And it just without any, it's just a magical money making machine. And this is what we want to turn the TEC into. We have the ability to use economics to actually create sustainable funding 
for the token engineering for advancing token engineering and that's our goal and so this is this new working group is uh being tasked with this effort how do we find sustainable funding and sustainable resources for the tc we had an amazing launch and the common stack uh really the common stack system is perfect for launching a micro economy but now we're in the research phase of how do we sustain and and create regenerative systems after that economy is launched and i can't wait to see what they come up with uh, and so with that i'll pass it to tam uh, to tell us about what's going on for her for her sprint cool thank you for that chris uh, i just want to i guess hold on let me share my screen as well uh griff mentioned it but i just want to take uh just a little more time to say how grateful um all of us are at common stack for this amazing grant from the giveth community there were 54 community members who supported the funding grant for 250,000 um give uh and uh especially danny bell wrote a really beautiful message of support uh and it passed and we're really really grateful for that so just again thank you thank you thank you giveth it was a really wonderful gesture on your part so we are at Sprint 38, and Ivy can't join us today, but as always, she is the naming genius of this group, and she uh, chose the name Early Innings. Uh, and the inspiration is, you know, it's the early stages of a competition and early stages of a game, and uh, baseball games last nine innings. So in the early innings, it's too late, it's too early to say what the outcome will be. So um, I think that it's a good uh, analogy for, for our year. We're still in the early innings. Uh, so I want to talk about the Commons Prize. Today is May 6th, which means today is the last time, the last day to submit a nomination for the Commons Prize. By the time you watch this video, uh, the, the Commons Prize should probably be closed. But we have a whopping 32 nominations so far. We have some really, really amazing nominations, some really, really amazing um, people who, uh, who submitted nominations. Um, I think Usama is going to show a little, share a little later how uh, the the uh, the communities, how Trusted Seed and the public could start reading more about the, the nominations. We've been asked a lot to uh, from we've been asked a lot to to know what the other nominations were. So we're we're going to be ready to share that uh, early next week. And uh, I want to share as a reminder um, what happens next. So um, between now and the 11th, we're just going to make sure that all of the nominations um, meet the criteria, have uh, the video, there's still some videos coming in, and then voting will start on May uh, 11th. Um, you vote with your trust seed, your, your trust token, sorry, your trust token. And um, uh, voting will end on the 17th and we will uh, we will vote for the short list of a finalists. Uh, the next voting period will be May 20th to 26th and from that short list of finalists we will vote for the winning community. So we're really really close to the edge end now. Uh, two more just one more thing I want to say, which is uh, we are going to have some sessions where communities, trusted seed members, nominations, nominated communities can all come together. Um, it's on the common stack calendar now, but it's going to be Friday, May 13th, uh, one session at 2 p.m. CET and two sessions on Monday, May 16th, 3 and 5 p.m. CET. And we hope to see some uh, some people there. Just to talk a little bit about the commons deployment phases. So this is what's going to happen after the winning community is uh, is awarded the prize. We will get uh, started with the winning community of these in these four phases, our initialization, our build, our hatch, and our commons upgrade. More on that um, next week, next sprint as well. Uh, news from the TEC. So there's a wonderful news that I get to share, and I'm so excited to share that Gideon has accepted his nomination to become a steward. So we had a beautiful, warm uh, new steward ceremony that just happened yesterday. And if you go to the uh, YouTube page for Token Engineering Commons, you should be able to find it there. Um, you know, he's contributed so much in the eight months that he's been participating in the TEC, and we're really, really lucky to have him. Uh, in, in, there's so many sweet testimonies about 
um, there are first impressions of meeting Gideon and what he means to the TEC community. And I guess the one I will share the one that I shared, which is uh, the best definition I've ever heard of a great leader is someone who always brings out the best in others. And I've seen it so many times. Gideon just really makes everybody shine. And if you want some more updates about the TEC, uh, I want to give a little plug for Mount Manu's um, weekly update from uh, on the, the forum. It is one place to get a, a lot of information about things that are happening in every working group. And with that, I'll pass to Livia. Um, so I'll bring a mix of news from TEC and Common Stack. And starting with third Graviton training. So um, on the 24th of May, uh, we'll start a new Graviton training that has a new structure now. So it's separated between modules and it will be more integrated for everyone to be very hands-on and understand how to be a conflict mediator in TEC and other communities that you may participate. So it's a very interesting framework that uh, the Gravity Group has organized, put together, and they will be following this framework now in this course. So even if you had participated in other Graviton trainings, this is going to be a different and special one. So I, I recommend, I think it will be great. And um, updates from reward systems. So, oops. The quant nine is closed. So we've been uh, catching up pretty quick with the old praise that was being quantified. And this now, this uh, period that just opened, quant 10, um, we're starting to quantify April. So we're really up to speed and we've been having amazing sessions of analysis and, uh, and review of all the data of everything that has been happening in the contributions of the TEC and uh, the RAD team is putting together a really amazing dashboard and a better analysis every week. So soon that will be more ready to be seen by everyone in a, in a dashboard, but now is still in the local environments of uh, Jiwei and Christopher and Nagin who have been working so much on that. And we'll be sharing some of the results we have uh, in the forum so everyone can follow. But yeah, that, that, that's an update that we have some new visualizations and we have an upgrade in the praise dashboard. So the quantification is becoming easier and easier also because of this feedback we have been receiving in the review calls. And there is a new blog po uh, forum post, rules of praise. It's an updated version of um, how to dish, dish great praise, because the work is not only quantifying, is also how are you showing your gratitude? How are you um, being descriptive about the greatness you're seeing in the people who are collaborating with you and who are members of the community? And uh, this is an open call always to become a quantifier and uh, to join TEC if you haven't yet and to be closer to the community and see all the contributions that happen there. And then on the C uh, common stack world, um, we've been doing some work to improve the praise system of the common stack as well and prepare common stack for integrating the new system that we've been using in the TEC. And for that, we need a little bit of uh, community work and um, the first step of that, this work that myself, Maria, and Ine are doing is to understand what are all the contributions we've been having in the common stack. Uh, what are some areas we want to create more engagement? So we did this first analysis categorizing uh, the praise from the common stack from the last few months. And uh, we got some results of what has been praised most and i can't um so twitter engagement has been on the top so far and we also have praises for engagement and appreciation and work on the reward system but uh, how can we bring more engagement to other areas has been a question of the common stack community building so one of the initiatives we have for that is 
a book club that Ann Brody is leading and is going to start next week on uh, May 12th at 4 p.m. Europe time. And we're gonna read um, Think Like a Commoner from David Boiler. It's a very interesting book to just uh, improve our understanding of what a commons is and prepare us for um, supporting the next commons to, from the commons prize. So join the book club and uh, Ine will talk a little bit more about that. And with that, I'll pass to Maria. Sorry, I got lost. I, I have a lot to, to share. Uh, mainly important news. Uh, so I will share my screen. But um, so we have a new token. And this is the trust token, which will be replacing um, the, the C stack token from the common stack. Uh, since we are uh, going through changes, like David always <laughs> some, uh, but this is uh, this means uh, a lot of work from the. I don't know why my screen sharing is not working. Okay, so this means a lot of work by the team, uh, which is uh, trying to define the trusted seed as a Swiss association and the common stack uh, as the DAO. And uh, for that, to, 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 to clean some lines and don't be so blurry, uh, we have deployed the new trust tokens um, for all the information on why did we change the C stack and uh, to trust. Uh, you will find it on, on a media post that you will be receiving uh, on our communications uh, streams. But uh, but yeah, so I love the memes I have to say on this article. <laughs> I think <laughs> these are my favorite uh, memes. I'm actually using one for my background uh, because I love it. Uh, so uh, what happened with the C stack tokens? Don't worry, they are in your wallet, in your XDAI chain. Um, I know <laughs> this one, I love it. Um, your C-Stack is there in your wallet, safe uh, as part of history of the commons, and you are part of the first generation of members of the uh, Trusted C Common Stack uh, uh, line of work, and you should be proud of it because uh, you have enabled uh, the, the, the building, the research, and the, and the creation of public goods. Um, so I am in, uh, right now I am in Austria, somewhere in Austria. I still cannot uh, say that the name of, of the city is, some, is something like Recono on the racks, something racks. Um, but yeah, how do I share this? Okay. So uh, I have been uh, at the ReFi on conference uh, organized by the Crypto Commons Hub, uh, well, Crypto Commons Association, and this is the Crypto Commons Hub. Uh, this house uh, that Felix, Julio, Leo, Ana, Umberto, which are part of the Trusted Seed, <laughs> uh, have been stewarding and, uh, and building a, a, a safe place uh, to talk about the future of the commons, the public goods, the, the, the region, uh, this is this is kind of like a, a, a paradise to, to build in the blockchain for good ecosystem. And so uh, my, my participation here uh, came with, where is it? Okay, oh, I'm sorry that I'm screwing up this uh, share, screen sharing, um, but I'm trying. I really, I really am trying. Okay, so yeah, this is a happy bunch who have done uh, an amazing work uh, organizing the ReFi on conference. Uh, and I participated on a workshop that was called Onboarding for Humans. And this workshop, uh, we talked about uh, 
uh, we, uh, I use the methodology of the self-organized learning environments. Um, I, I did some weird questions uh, to the participants. Uh, one of them was, uh, uh, why do you assume that the rain falls down? Uh, why did why did I ask this question? Because I wanted to to uh, take all these savvy people in blockchain out of their comfort zone and uh, make them feel how make them uh, put in the position of how newcomers uh, feel when are coming to us to to talk about blockchain and uh, and, and Web three uh, region region to region. Why is that and all that. Uh, and it was fantastic to see the results uh, because the videos are very funny. Unfortunately, I cannot uh, share them, uh, <laughs> but it was a great session um, for them to, to also, uh, it's all coordination. So they had to coordinate on creating the groups. They had to coordinate on the research of the use of technology for, for, for the answer of this. And, and they had to convene in, in a conclusion to onboard humans. <laughs> um, also, this morning, we had a Jeff session on uh, the design patterns of the common stack, which was great. I actually learned a lot, uh, mainly on, on how, how the, the common stack uh, evolved in time to to have what we have all the tools that, that we have today and how that the tec was formed as the first commons and it was amazing this was the <laughs> the 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 scheme that he was showing with that 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 he analyzed as a as a as a human uh body with with organs and how it produces and yeah, and he actually renamed the, 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 the presentation to move slow and fix things. <laughs> because that's how, uh, how he says that uh, the commons has been designed. Um, it, it has been moving slow, but a, a lot of things have been fixed as we speak because we are building. Um, but yeah, that's uh, all on the... On... Um, the refi on conference, uh, unfortunately, uh, is closing tomorrow, uh, May 7th. Uh, although I, I want to go home, <laughs> uh, I, I miss home. I, I miss my my tropical weather. Um, so I have for you some trusted scene numbers. Uh, since the last stream, we have seven applications, one activation, making us uh, have the beautiful number of 350 members of the trusted seat. Uh, these marks, uh, I say the first generation, since I love that it's closing in a round number, uh, since we deployed the trust uh, token. And, and yeah, I, I feel very proud of, of working with this community and, and the people who is coming in the future. Uh, and I have to remind you to renovate, renew your trusted team membership. Uh, remember that the deadline for renovations for, for renewals is June 30th. Uh, your donation is important to us to, to keep our work and keep uh, working on the next and the future commons, just as the commons prize and all the, the things that we are working on. Um, with that, I'll pass it to Gina. Thank you, Maria. What amazing refine conference, right? So well, I will share my screen now. And I, I will um yeah, share some things related to the com side. Uh we published the trust uh medium blog post as Maria showed uh early with all the details about the trust token. So now we're going to, we're going to migrate every all the Stack score to this new trust token and all the details you will find it here in this uh, blog post uh, another thing we shared uh, yesterday actually uh, as uh, Livia mentioned is the invitation to participate to the Commons Stack book club we are going to start with the book think like a commoner and 
and we will uh, deliver a special pop-up uh, for this uh, activity. And uh, the invitation is here, as I said, in, the, in our Twitter, and the link to participate is here. Every Thursday, 10 a.m. AST, 4 p.m. ACT, the Discord uh, link is here, and participate. That's, this is the best way to have this mentality, these thoughts directly in the shape of the commons. <laughs> Uh, in another news is, well, we send the, our newsletter, our A plus newsletter, and we will see all the good news we uh, gather during the whole month on April. Uh, the amazing talk with Tam, the region, uh, month, campaign, and all the details that you can find here. Speaking about the newsletter, we have this great announcement about becoming a guest writer. This is an invitation, an open invitation to all our uh, community to participate and be uh, part of our news, uh, our, our next uh, newsletter with a great content piece. You will find the details, the guidelines here to participate. Here are, here are the guidelines. So please. Go ahead and share with us the best uh, contents you have created so far that could fix fix in the um, cultural or technical or probably or what or uh, the regenerative in mentality or topics are about. We have, we have a, a list of topics here that are very close to Commons Stack uh, mission. So. This is the perfect guide. If you have questions, you can reach out to me and I will explain <laughs> how can you participate. And um, what else? Well, we end up at the, with a region month campaign. Uh, this was for April and for this month, we are going to be focused on impact organizations in the Web3 ecosystem. We want to talk about these great uh, organizations that are making great, 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 great things. <laughs> to really uh, impact our communities, our ecosystem. So that's for me. Um, I will stop sharing now, and I will pass it to you, Saba. Thanks, Jenny. Uh, let me share the screen. Uh, so yeah, uh, during this sprint, um, I can say we have been working on uh, managing the Commons Prize uh, from interest uh, campaign uh, uh, to nominations. We have been working on reaching out to people uh, to submitting the community nominations. So we have uh, received so far above 30 nominations. And uh, as nomination peers is going to be uh, to end, uh, so it's time to be ready for voting. I can say for that, we have published an article on the voting process. So it's, it's already live on our Medium page. So you can see uh, at the voting process and we will be using the token log uh, for the first phase, for the first round of voting and snapshot for the second round of voting and uh, uh, we will use a coordinating voting approach for that. Uh, secondly, uh, how are you going to vote? So. Uh, uh, First of all, voting will officially start on May 11th, and you know all trust token holders are eligible to cast their vote, uh, choose the next community. Um, and um, for the nominations, um, you can say they will. Uh, it's closing tonight. Uh, however, for nominees that have already submitted their information, they can update their information until the 11th of May. So uh, there are still nomination nom nominations are coming, and uh, you can check. Uh, we can check the token log repo where there are a lot of nominations that are being listed inside so uh, there are uh, like you know above 30 nominations here uh, right now you cannot vote for uh, the nomination but you can see the informations like you know refi uh, impact also some of the videos are coming soon some of the videos are already submitted uh, so yeah uh, nominate your community before 11 59 pm est so yeah uh, that's it from my side uh, i will pass back to griff 
Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Osama. Man, so much happening this round. And as always, you know, we get all the credit because our faces are on the screen, but we are for sure a community effort. And uh, so I'm just going to rattle off the praise uh, of everybody who is not in this call to share the success of the sprint. Uh, first, I want to praise Algene for transcribing all of this praise that I'm about to rattle off. Uh, it's a lot of work there. Uh, praise for Shell for helping me to put together all the budgets. Praise Jess, Tiago, and Austin for making the regen endowment happen. Praise Raf for the amazing legal support. We couldn't get all these changes as a trusted seed without you. Uh, thank you so much, Raf. Praise Ivy for leading the organizational effort for all the board discussions. So glad I can finally praise Ivy again in this rat rant because she's not here. Uh, there's going to be a lot of praise for her. Uh, praise Jeff, Chris, and Ivy for joining the association board meeting and being the best board members ever. Uh, if you want to be a board member, you uh, feel free to tell us and we can bring you to onto the board. Uh, uh, also praise Max for coming to the board meeting. Uh, praise Mitch, Sam, and Gabby, and Paulo for helping us get the new Trusted Seed Association DAO up, despite all the technical issues. Uh, praise Gideon and Bear100 for jumping in and pushing the new sample working group forward. Praise Jeremy, Danny, and all the Givethers that helped to shape the final proposal uh, that went up to Giveth. Uh, and of course, praise all the Giveth uh, token holders that voted to give us this endowment. Uh, praise Rodri for making the beautiful roadmap and all the designs that you do, Rodri. Uh, praise Gideon for accepting stewardship in the TEC. Praise Manu for the working group updates on the TEC forum. Praise Durgadas, Dan, Lean, Morgan, Jeremy, Lorelai, Wonka, and all and anyone else who's facilitating the third Graviton training. Amazing work. It's going to be exciting. Don't miss it. Uh, praise ViviV for all the incredible work on our praise bots. Praise Christopher for coordinating everything around the reward system process. Praise Mitch for taking on stewardship of the rewards and cat, hard, cat hurting the hell out of all the quantifiers. It's amazing how much, uh, how what kind of response we get and how many people are quantifying this praise. Praise Matty G for leading the development of the reward system and pushing uh, some new solutions and great UX on marking duplicates. Thank you, Matty G. Praise Nebs for all the back end work uh, on the reward system. Praise Nuggin and, and Jue for the incredible work on the RAD dashboard. So many interesting things coming out of that. Praise Ann Brody for leading the book club and getting us all thinking like commoners. Praise Ivy for writing that incredible trust article that just went out and praise for all the memes. She said it was actually the first time she made so many memes. So that's kind of fun. Uh, she did a great job. Meme uh, natural. Praise Felix, Leo, Julio, Humberto, and Anna for, and all the sponsors to the refi conference in Austria. Praise Jeff for the great talk. I'm moving slow and fixing things. And as always, describing commons with excellent analogies and emojis. Uh, praise Jessica for her talk on governance and the memes of production, keeping the meme coming for the common stack. Uh, praise Nana from Region Network on our excellent presentation on the endowment partnerships that we received. Uh, uh, praise Rodri for making all the graphics for the Commons Prize and all of our PO apps. Praise Ivy for her help on the newsletter and uh, organizing the guest writer work. Praise Vitor for sorting out token log for us and deploying it. And praise all the nominees that are uh, actually coming in and I'm gonna name them. So praise Marco for nominating the Web3 Designer uh, Commons. Uh, praise Alex Soto Digital uh, for making the Work Collective Commons uh, and nominating a Work Collective Commons. Praise Josh Fairhead, a uh, longtime old friend uh, for nominating Open Team. Praise Diago. Uh, for the Food Forest Commons, nominating Food Forest Commons. Praise Jeremy and the Gospel of Change for uh, nominating the Liberating Structures Commons. Praise, oh, uh, praise TB, uh, Tiberius, who has edited lots of things and been contributing a lot. Well, praise TB for uh, Greens for Good and the Commons. That's going to be really exciting. Praise Paul in Albuquerque for the recovering and healing to earn commons. Uh, praise Shift Shaper for the Overweb commons. Praise Javerit for the fi Fable DAO commons. Praise uh, Eric uh, from Wellness DAO for the Wellness DAO commons. Praise, uh, praise Jason for nominating the Underground DAO commons. Praise uh, uh, Will Ruddick for nominating Grassroots Economics commons. Praise the Center for Collaborative Econ, even Evan uh, Cooper uh, for nominating the Infinite Game Commons. 
Praise Torsten for nominating a cyber physical commons for open guitar. Uh, praise Nick for nominating the unmonopolizable un therapies commons. Praise YGG for the AI for good commons. Praise uh, the blockchain socialist for the bread chain commons. Uh, praise uh, uh, XDAM, XDAMAN uh, for the all, all for climate commons. Praise, praise um, Metarishi for the decentralized arts commons. Praise Wonka for the gravity commons. Praise uh, Herb Stevens for the reset commons. Praise uh, Nadim for the seeds commons. Praise Sid Code for kernel commons. Praise Gustavo for the banting commons. Praise Clueless for the refi commons. Praise uh, Paracarius for impact NFT commons. Praise Kojak for the villagers commons. Praise John Elson for nominating uh, another commons refi DAO. Praise Lean for the uh, um, for the regen, like all for the climate regions unite commons. Praise Mount Manu uh, for also nominating Banting DAO. Uh, praise uh, who is this? Golden Golden Age Guide Jay Boucher for the save commons and praise Chris Burns for the open cultivars commons. So many great nominations. Uh, uh, it's going to be a really hard vote. I can't wait. Uh, we'll be managing that for next sprint. So uh, get get excited for uh, starting off to actually pick who in the next commons will be. Uh, so exciting. And uh, thank you. Praise you for sticking with us through this extremely long review call. Uh, there's so much going on every sprint. And uh, man, if you watch this, you really care. And we really appreciate that. Thank you all for coming.